Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we are getting to Band Made Hate. This is one that has been very strongly suggested amongst Band Made fans. So here we are, finally here with it. And I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to seeing what these ladies bring with this. They've been absolutely fantastic to react to. Uh, definitely. Um, I would probably definitely put them on par with Love Bites. See, the thing I love about both of these groups, though, is I can't really pinpoint which one I may like more than the other because each group has something, like, so special about them, like, over the other that it's almost like no matter what they do, it's like they kind of keep on par. And the other thing is, is that they don't sound the same. I love the fact that if, if you listen, like if I was to listen to five Love Bite songs and five Bandmade songs, I would probably be able to pick out the Love Bite songs over the Bandmade songs. And that is something that's very important to me, especially when it comes to, uh, I guess you could say, reacting to a genre I'm not very familiar with. Because, you know, if I listen to the 10 groups and they all sound the same to me, in a way that is kind of a turnoff. And I think that's why... I'm not such a big fan of a lot of pop music today is because too many people sound so much alike that I can't tell who they are and even if the song sounds great it still kind of takes it down a peg for me because I'm just like yeah but they sound like this so it's, it doesn't make it as special it sounds great but it's like if this other person did it and it would sound exactly the same it's like what really makes it special so that's why I really love so far what I've gotten into with the uh, you know j-rock j-metal so far i've done three bands and they all seem to have like their own distinctive sounds and styles so so far this has been a great genre for me to jump into and i love the fact that you know everybody just sounds so different so far so but outside of that um as i mentioned earlier this one was a very heavily requested song so i've now finally gotten to it I have a feeling it's going to be a great one considering on how suggested it was. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with it. I will leave a link to the original video in the description below. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Hey there, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the content and would like to give some extra support to the channel, feel free to check the description for various ways to do so. Some which will include an affiliate link to Dubby, uh, which you use, you get a 10% off your order. And also a link to my merch store, which is constantly running promotions and deals, as well as a link to my Patreon page, which you can get exclusive perks and content. Naturally, liking the video and leaving a comment helps as well. Thanks again, and I will catch y'all down the road. Whoa! Oh, they're starting off real hard, aren't they? I'm not used to them starting off this hard so quick. Oh, that was a nice little touch. Okay, y'all, I gotta say this. This feels like probably the hardest number I've heard of them so far. Wow. I mean, they started off, like, choosing violence with this one. I mean, holy cow. I'm, I'm used to kind of like a little build in there. You know, and then they kind of like get like a little, I don't want to say soft poppy, like into it, but it's like, this one is just straight. It's like, whoever wrote this, they woke up that morning and chose violence. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. But then again, what would you expect from a song called Hate? I mean, I guess, I guess really now that I think about it, now that I'm actually saying it out loud, it seems kind of stupid to 
have expected anything less. Again, with a name like this, of course, it should sound like they're, you know, wanting to choose violence over all else. But holy cow, I guess it just caught me off guard a little bit. You know, sometimes people get you know, like a violent sounding song and it's, you know, it's still good. just doesn't like match the title, but, uh, no, they're, they're matching it pretty good. I think, <laughs> holy cow, but I will say this, it's definitely, definitely fun to watch, enjoying everything about it so far. And of course, Misa still cooking on that bass. Good Lord. I honestly, I'm not going to lie. She's really making me want to kind of do a fan vote tournament of like best basses and kind of do something like i did uh i think it was last year actually where i did a tournament with best guitarist but she she's making me want to do the same thing except with bass players this time i may have to do that if you're interested in that let me know in the comments for sure listen to misa cook on that bass Oh, she is nasty with that thing. are not about to have a guitar bass riff oh my lord y'all i don't think i've ever seen anything like that before yo ladies chill <laughs> y'all they really did choose violence with this Y'all, I, I don't know, I don't know. Y'all, I'm not over it yet. <laughs> what I ever do to you? <laughs> That's not... Yo! Yo! Barefoot assassin indeed! Alright, that was Bandmade 8. And 
for the first time in my 40 years of living. That was the first time I'd seen guitar duels within bands before in songs. I've never seen a bass and electric guitar duel before. What was that? Oh my goodness. You know, I know in my last pause break, I was talking about how I need to do a fan vote tournament of um, best bass guitar player. Um, I think Misa during that duel really solidified that decision. I mean, granted, I would still love to hear whether you guys would like that or not, because I made something up anyways, but, you know, I'm definitely, you know, like I said, that's one of those things I just like really prefer for uh, community involvement. Uh, so if you guys are definitely interested, let me know, but I think I might be uh, Working on setting that up sometime soon because I know last year I did a, a best guitarist tournament and that was really a lot of fun and it really got me to do uh, a Lot of like different reactions and really introduced me to some stuff That's how I got on my Led Zeppelin kick was through that tournament. So this could be something else uh, Granted if I do do that that is going to change my um Reaction schedule a little bit because before that tournament starts, I'm going to react to all the people who are in the tournament. I um, last year when I did it, I did 16 guitarists. Um, that was a lot to do by myself, so I think I might have it only down to eight. So if this is something you're interested, I'm telling you right now, Misa is going to be in that tournament. But give me a list of other bass players that you would like to see. Um, listed in that tournament because I have a feeling that could be a really fun one too and on, in all honesty oof if I was voting in that I would probably vote me up really there but I'll have to look through and see who I could throw in there because there are a lot of great bass players out there you know but she's definitely who she's got to be you know at the very least and this is actually you know I was gonna say top 10 but I'm, I'm like how do you, how is she not top five even like, I don't see how she can't be top five. And I've only just been getting into the bass play. And like, let's just get into the rest of the song. As I said, it's like whoever wrote this woke up that morning and chose violence. And every bit of that song, even... Crap, I had her name. I purposely looked up everybody's name before I started this so I could try to say their name properly. And Misa's the only one I still remember, probably because she's the one that captivates me the most. But I already done forgot. Is it Saki? No, it's not Saki. I, I wouldn't even know how to properly pronounce it, honestly, if I'm being honest. But, um, but I mean, with her vocals and everything, you know, and I mean, both the guitars. I mean, like every piece in this puzzle was like, we are choosing violence today. And uh, be ready. And no, I wasn't ready. I should have been, like I said, with a name, with a song titled like that, knowing, you know, it's going to be rock. I should have expected something like this, but for some reason, I did it. You know, maybe I'm just getting, I don't, I don't think senile is the right word, but either which way, that was really foolish of me to expect anything less than what I got here. So that's on me. That's definitely on me. Uh, but... You know, and here I am. I'm already getting ready to go back to that freaking guitar and bass duel because, again, that's just... That is something I've never, ever seen before. And that was such a cool thing because... I mean, as much as I'm saying using the word duel, probably just because of the nature of the song, you know, that would probably be more fitting, but definitely would probably be more... Duet would probably be a more accurate term for it, but... Holy cow, like I said, just everything about that, it was just like, look, the song's name is Hate, so just expect hate to exude from this. But one thing I can definitely say is I do not hate this song. I, oh my goodness. You know, Moratorium was my top bandmate song for a little bit. I think this might have topped it. This might have topped it. If it didn't top it, it at very least tied. And it's not even like one of those things where it's like close. It's like it's either number one or tied for number one. I, I just don't see how this isn't in anybody's top three bandmate songs. 
you know i know there's a lot more for me to check out so you know my standings could change but i just don't i don't see how this could be any less than three on somebody's all-time bandmate list if not number one so oh man i'm gonna have to double check and see how many bandmates i think this is either my fourth or fifth because I, I know another thing i've been wanting to do is probably start doing shorts of like these new groups i've been doing and uh, ma making my own personal uh, top tens of those once I've gotten at least 10 uh, songs under my belt. But holy cow, I'm telling you right now, right now, one and two are Moratorium and Hate. Where they are in that listing, um, I don't know. I, I do have a feeling this will probably really make number one, but Moratorium was a really fun one too. But whew, boy, oh boy, that was something. So guess we're just gonna end it there and i'm just gonna thank you all for stopping by if you aren't subscribed definitely make sure to subscribe if you liked it and hit the notification bell so you can be aware of more reactions that come this way and also be sure to check out my other bandmade reactions right over there and uh thanks again for coming by hope you all liked it i'll catch y'all down the road